Evac is a game that's reminiscent of Pac-Man, but it's been updated for Android. The point of the game is to go through this level and you're gonna collect all these colors and you're gonna move stuff around, set traps, because you see these little red guys right here? They're coming after you all the time. So you've gotta follow the instructions from a, a little guy named Kronos. Kratos, excuse me. So right now, I gotta push this down to open up a portal. And I open that one. And then uh, now I need to go through this, but if I go through here, it's gonna set off like alarms for the other red guys trying to catch me. So the smart thing to do is go back, collect all of these. All right, now I'm gonna go back and take this off the portal. So you see, now they won't be able to come through. So when I go to the next part, I only have one guy to worry about. And I gotta be stealthy because if he sees me, he's gonna come after me. And just like that, I go through. There's a lot of stuff to this game. This is just a simple level. There's more complex level, more difficult, and more challenging. I really recommend this game. It's a lot of fun. And uh, go get it now. It's called EVAC, E-V-A-C. There's a light version and there's a, an HD version optimized for larger screens. So I recommend getting it. It's a great app. If you're in the market for a wallpaper app that has stuff beyond Justin Bieber images and Twilight and Bikini Babes, then you need to get this app called Growlery. This leans more towards the artistic side, so it's got vector images and cool graphics that people create, and it makes them all available and browsable in your in your phone. So let's see you say an, see an image that you like, you click it, and uh, forgive the slow loading speeds, you know, Comcast sucks, uh, my weekly reminder. Uh, and in the meantime, I'll tell you that when you press the menu button, you can press I to get some information about this creation. You can see who made it, what inspired them to do it, and what was like their goal or whatever. Pressing this button will download it to your, your phone, and pressing share will allow you to send it to Facebook, Twitter, or email. And now that it's finally loaded, I can say, you know what, I really like this image, I'm going to set it as my wallpaper. Press this button right here. And we wait and now here's my new wallpaper available whenever I want it this app is called growlery it's available in the Android market download it today if you've been waiting on a better music player wait no more because it's here and it's called power amp now you have to have Android 2.1 for this to work but if you do have that version you need to get this app First of all, it's got a nice interface. You can theme it, change the colors, lots of things. I'm gonna do that really quick. Settings, theme, and then I'm gonna change it to white plastic. Suddenly it's a brand new interface and you can play music. Uh, all of them play music, obviously, but what set this apart is a little equalizer that it has. So I'm gonna play a song. And now I'm gonna turn on the equalizer so you can hear the difference. So you, as you can, you can tell there's a difference in sound for sure. It plays out more when you use headphones, so it gets really good. You can get the music sounding just the way you want it. There are a lot of options that you can take advantage of. It supports FLAC, uh, Windows Media Audio. It supports a lot of formats that you don't normally see. You can browse by folder, or you can get the library view to, for something a little more traditional. And the cool thing I like about this is that it downloads the album art for you. It's not always accurate, but it's better than nothing. So for instance, uh, let's say I want to listen to The Roots, and I click on it. All right, uh, let's see. Before it didn't have it, all of a sudden you see now it has the album art. This is a great app. It's available in the Android market. It comes with three widgets, 4x2, 4x1, and 4x1. It's called Power Amp, all one word.
This is Scribe. It's yet another keyboard alternative. Now what sets this apart from some of the others you might have seen is that this uses Google's Scribe API unofficially and it makes it possible to suggest things to you as you type. So as I start typing A and D, they say, are you trying to say Andrew? And I say, no, I'm trying to say Android. So I tap that. Is, oh wait, uh oh, made a mistake. Android is on Mozilla. Interesting, but not what I'm trying to say. Is the best, okay. The best uh, operating system. Whoop. Forgive the slow typing, I'm trying to angle the camera. Oh, operating system, there we go. So as you can see, it's not the fastest thing out there because it's unofficially, this is still in alpha and it's in testing. But if you wanna give it a try, see what's going on, just go for it. This is Scribe, S-C-R-Y-B-E, and it's available for free in the Android market.